Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Pixel! Let's finally track down Rubicante at the Tower of Babel! And we're on the other side of the floor that time. Uh-oh. Starting to look symmetrical here. Well, before we do all that, I would like to get to Rydia's turn. There we go. Get our Mist Dragon going on most of these guys. Kane can get started on the Lamia. Now, with the uh, Lamias here, they are considered reptile or lizard type enemies. That's why I've got the ice shield equipped on Cecil there to reduce that damage to almost nothing. So anything that's good against a particular creature type is really, really good in this game. This money is really good too. Wow, look at that money. Yeah, it almost doubled my money supply. We're going to need that coming up. But first, we can deal with more of these guys. Why not? Oop, uh, get to my Mist Dragon. There we go. I'm mostly using Jump just for the delay on the attack. So he can get going while... Yeah, Riddy is charging up her summon as usual. And not as much damage as I could have gotten out of it. But... She'll get the job done. Very nice. Now, I'm going to want to change my setup quite a bit here. Oh, hey. Not that anyone can use it, but I suppose that would explain where it comes from. But, uh, okay, so, let's see. I'm going to want to change, yeah, my rows up a little bit there. Let's get Cecil going around like this. Okay, there we go. Okay, so with Rydia, she remains the same. Cecil, let's get you on the Ice brand. Though I do mostly plan for him to not be using his physical attacks. But maybe every now and then. Gotta be strong against fire, not worried about being weak to ice. Then, yeah, Mithril Staff. That'll be good for you. Kane is good. Edge, hmm. No, I don't think I really need to do anything with him. I suppose I could give him Boomerang, so I don't think his weapons really matter coming up here. What does matter, though, is my HP, though. So, yeah, let's try and top that off for everyone there. And I think we're good to go. Who's there? Hey, what are you doing here? I thought you were killed. Yeah, that that's what I said. Where do you want to go? Yeah. What the? Literally or figuratively? Or both? For boss time! Against the king and queen of Eblon. You insolent fools! Oh, well, I've got some uh, fire-resisting equipment that might make that... A little hard for you guys. But yeah, we get quite a bit of dialogue during this fight. Are you working for Rubicante now? I might as well go with Mist Dragon or whatever summon you want to. I'm going to leave Rosa on standby for healing there. But it doesn't really especially matter. Yeah, their spells are pretty weak as long as you got some fire-resisting gear. Not bad, not bad. I'm trying to go through this a bit slowly so that I can see all of the dialogue there. Because if I'm pressing a button while they're talking, it'll advance the dialogue beyond the rate at which I can read. Huh? What's going on? Oh. What happened to you guys anyway? Oh, okay. I was going to say, you don't look like you probably did before. That's... Well, it's not your fault. But thanks for stopping trying to set me on fire. Okay, you guys go to hell, not me. 
I've already been there. Wasn't a very fun place. Goodbye! What, you want to have a chimera for a mother? Well, that didn't go as planned. Aww. Uh-oh. Dimming lights, you know what that means! What do you mean? He's dead, isn't he? Oh, thanks. Rub it in a bit more. Well, it doesn't exactly seem very fair. Five on one. Thanks, I guess. But you haven't played this JRPG before, have you? What kind of power? Whoa! Hey, all right! Like how they added a little animation there. Nice touch. For boss time! Thanks for the heal! But all right, so, Rubicante is weak to ice, as you might expect. And let's see, while his cloak is open, we can exploit that. So I want to use Flood, Shiva, and Kane with his Ice Spear there. Now you notice, after Kane attacked him, yeah, Rubicante countered with Fyra there. And yeah, Rubicante counters... <laughs> yeah, Rubicante counters physical attacks with Fire. He also counters summons with Blizzara there. Well, that didn't go as planned. Well, there is another way that we could revive Edge. Let me show you another part of Rubicante's AI script. If you cast fire on him at any point, he'll cast life on your entire party, whoever could need it. Thanks, I guess? Is that supposed to be like something with his desire to fight fairly or something? I don't know. But yeah, Cecil does not deal enough damage with the Ice Brand for me to want him to use his physical attacks in this battle. So whenever I can, I would like Kane to jump, at least minimize the amount of... Uh, the number of counters that Rubicante can get. And then if Rubicante's cloak is closed... I could have Edge throw some of those shurikens at him. But I don't think that'll be necessary. Yeah, look at that damage with Kane. Very nice. Uh-oh. Goodbye, Edge. Good thing I got some Phoenix Downs. Hmm. Although, he's probably going to close his cloak again soon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well. Uh, now, with Kane... Even though Rubicante, his cloak is closed, he'll absorb ice, but physical attacks can still get through. So King can still deal some decent damage there. But even then, it's still cut in half by uh, his resistance there. Hey, hey all right. Uh-oh. Now, I know that if you get his HP below 1,000, that triggers the dialogue in previous versions. I think he might always do that in this version. At least when I was practicing, he always said those lines upon being killed. Because otherwise, like in the Super Nintendo version, he'll just die from his HP being reduced to zero, and that's it. Well, that's the general idea, yeah. Yeah, once again, Cecil mostly only useful for healing during a boss fight against the lords, elemental lords. Oh, well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? Hmm? Oh, hey! 
This guy's from the settlement. Oh, we got him. Thanks for cheering from the sidelines. They were probably just hiding behind the door, around the counter, or corner, or whatever. Hmm? What do you mean? Oh, yeah, his boss. He wants to build a spaceship. Oh, well, something's up there. What could he possibly want with that, though? He's already the most powerful person on the planet. Oh, yeah, so he is. Hey, all right. Uh, well, not more party members, but same party members. Oh, well, then who's going to be in charge while you're gone? Say but again. How are you going to get out of here anyway? I don't know. Well, I guess maybe they're all ninjas, so they can, you know, pass through walls or something. But yeah, once you get up to this floor, you can't warp out of here, even in the Super Nintendo version. But, uh, yeah, that would be the first thing. Don't worry about the crystals, they wouldn't be useful for you anyway, Edge. Hey, hey achievement time! Okay, so, now, yeah, let's get our party back the way they were before something like that but uh yeah Kane is good you're good let's see let's get you on the ogre killer again and then let's get you I don't know if I'll need the mute arrows but I'll equip them anyway and then Edge is still on his melee equipment there in the Super Nintendo version I would give Edge a boomerang in his right hand but, uh, in this version, yeah, that wouldn't really help, so don't worry about it. But yeah, we got some new spells there for Edge. You know what, let me see. Yeah, I want to put all my attack spells up top and then status effects on the bottom there. That ought to be good. Wow, they got their own crystal room and everything. Let's see, so... Yep, there's still one more that's empty. What do you mean? Nuts. A trap floor! Ow. That's the appropriate thing to say, right? Ow. Yeah, there you go. Well, we're alive. How did they even get into that room anyway? I don't know. But, uh, okay, so we're, well, in the underworld of the Tower of Bebel again. But this time, the enemies are much more difficult. Well, not much more difficult, but more than they were the first time we came around here. And here we got a new enemy, Mithril Golem. Let's see, with Edge, let's get you on the Mithril Knife. Take out one of those guys. And then, yeah, let's get jump going there let's see with the oh right <laughs> i forgot yeah the mithril golem is considered a giant type enemy I, I mean i knew that but yeah the mithril golem you could use the fairy claw on edge if you wanted i could have also had rydia summon cockatrice or you could use hold or pin to paralyze them if you really wanted to but all right kiraja yeah, I remember when I was going through the area the first time I played the game and Rubicante just dealt so much damage with Glare, or, well, Inferno in this translation. And so I leveled Rosa up to 38 in the Super Nintendo version to learn Cure, or, well, Cure 4. So that I could heal decently enough but yeah, I didn't know about all the stuff that, well, I know now. There's one more new enemy I want to find. This is not them, but I do want to 
take them out. So let's see, why don't we get you on the fairy claw after we kill that guy. There you go. Uh, I suppose Cecil could have, yeah, just taken them both out. But yeah, if you got the fairy claw, that can be useful. But otherwise, yeah, I'd just stick with the dancing dagger there. But yeah, one more new enemy. Where are you? These are not them either. Hmm. Well, let's see what I can do otherwise. But yeah, let's get the mithril knife going there. And then let's see with the grudgers. Hmm. Let me see if Titan would be strong enough to kill them. Otherwise, yeah, physical attacks will take him down. Certainly, Mist Dragon wouldn't be enough. They got quite a bit of HP. Yeah, all right, there you go. Wasn't sure if that would have been enough. But, uh, okay, so... Yeah, just heal up a little bit there. And if I don't find the new enemy soon, then I'll just find them off screen. Or I'll wait. Uh, let's see, these are not the guys that I'm looking for. But, uh, yeah, before going through that door, I want to find that one new enemy, because if we don't find them now, we'll never be able to get them later. And there's also another reason. Even if you have gotten all the bestiary entries, don't go in there yet until you quick save and... Watch the next episode because there's something that I want to show you that you only have a very limited time to do. But for now, let's see what's going on in the Super Nintendo version of the game against Rubicante. Alright, we're back in the Super Nintendo version of the game just after Edge's parents died. And by the way, you don't have to fight that battle at all. I was just playing along with it. The dialogue progresses along automatically regardless of what you do anyway. Well, of course not. He's not gonna be alive for very much longer. Well, that doesn't seem to be very fair to me at all. You haven't played this JRPG before, have you? Yeah, I love how the boss music starts before the actual battle does. By the way, Blitz is lightning elemental. It's just not useful here, but it is useful later on in the game. So yeah, when Rubicante is cloaked, he only absorbs ice elemental magical damage, not physical damage. But in the pixel version, that supersedes his weakness to ice, which causes ice elemental physical attacks to deal less damage. For boss time! But yeah, in the Super Nintendo version here, his weakness is prioritized over his absorption property. So he... It doesn't get loaded property or properly like with Kanazo and Valvalis there. So Kane's jump is immensely better in this version here, not just because of that, but also because, remember, physical counterattacks are only uh, triggered from the fight command in the Super Nintendo version, so Kane's jump and Edge's dark commands are much more useful here. Also, I don't think Edge is going to be able to cast Flood before he cloaks again, but if we can get a summon in there wh while we're at it, so much the better. Sometimes I don't get that in on time, but no, it, it worked here. Now that probably won't kill him. Yep, we're good, we're good. Just keep on jumping. So yeah, I'm using Edge's dark command, or throw command in the other versions. I'm using that more here to bypass his counters. Yeah, look at that damage. Very nice job, Kane. Hmm. You know, I think I could get Flood in on time here. We'll see how it plays out. Probably can't get Shiva in there. But, you know what? Why don't we wait and see who Rubicante uses Glare against? Okay, that won't kill you. 
I'm just gonna parry because I'm not gonna be able to get any spell in there on time. Well, at least Cecil survived. Another thing you could do is maybe cast Berserk on Cecil. But that still triggers the physical counter there. Whoop, out of, uh... Yeah, out of shurikens. Well, that's okay. I could probably get Flood in on time. Unless he dies. Okay, yeah, so you see in this version, the dialogue doesn't happen there because... I killed him before he dropped below a thousand HP anyway. But alright, so we got that there, but we couldn't get the crystals. What do we do now? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV Pixel. This is H.E. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!